Hey everybody, Nomine here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to set up the POE Awaken trade macro. This is basically a trade macro where if you hover over an item in game and you press a hotkey, it's going to open up like a mini trade window here and it can show you exactly what the price of that item is directly from the Path of Exile trade website. You don't have to go to the trade website if you don't want to. You can click this button here to kind of jump into the trade website. Again, this is just one of the many functionality that this tool offers, and I'm going to be discussing it in this video. I'm going to be going over how to set up the trade macro, as well as some of the search functionality, as well as like how to set up your hotkeys and everything like that. The macro is actually like pretty big. Um, it's got a lot of functionality, which I'll leave up to you to explore, but this is just going to cover like the bare bone basics and some of like the more niche functionality also. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video, guys. All right, folks, to install Awaken POE trade macro, you just go to this website right here. I'll have a link to it in the description. Basically, you choose the operating system you have. I only know about Windows 10 installer and this is the one I'm going to use, but I'm sure it's pretty easy to just follow the instructions for these as well. So let's get started. Windows 10 installer, I click this, it's going to download the executable file. So you just click the executable file and Windows 10 is going to ask you like, hey, like, you know, we're trying to protect your PC, you know, don't execute it. But again, this is perfectly safe to execute as long as you're getting it from the link here. Again, I'll have the link in the description also. You just, you just click run anyway, you click more info and then run anyway, and then you just choose where you want to install it. And then it's that easy guys. And once you have it installed, you can run it and you click finish. And again, if you like check down here in your windows tray, again, you can see right here, it's uh, running. It's this icon right here, awaken POE trade version, blah, 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 blah. Um, you can like, you know, open in browser, you can open the config file settings and league. Uh, you can even open the browser here and it, this is basically like the same settings that you would find in game to access the screen in game. You just press shift plus the space bar while you're playing Path of Exile. And again, I'll demonstrate that here to kind of demonstrate like all the functionality that this macro has. All right, folks, so let's talk about the functionality of POE Trade. The most basic, obvious functionality that is useful to everybody is instantly price checking items. So all you do is you hover over the item and you can press Control D to kind of price check your item instantly. You'll see like, depending on like the items that you have and the many roles that it has, you'll see like these little black lines right here with like the white, basically like this is where what your item is rolled at. And this is like the possible roll range value. Again, you can see like a basic item that has like basic rolls is like 139 divines. But if you max out all the rolls here, let's say like, you know, I have like a really high, well high rolled uh, mage blood. There really isn't any on the market right now. But like, let's say kind of like I lowered it a little bit. And again, you can see the price definitely goes up drastically. So it is a very useful tool to kind of search for prices like that. Again, we'll do another example with Ralakash's Impatience Boost. Uh, Ralakash's Impatience, the max chaos resistance roll is 25%. Looks like uh, there's none online right now. You can actually hover over this function right here and you can click offline and online and you can see like, uh, you know, when it was listed last and you know, like the, the red means like that they're offline, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, again, like there's so many different features in here, guys. It's good to just like explore. There's like sometimes, uh, you know, items have hidden mods. You can click this and then you can click this also. And like, you can see like all the other item mods that the item has that are hidden. And it'll, you know, and like, again, these, these mods are kind of useless because like they don't really have like a roll range. So like, that's why the macro kind of hides them by default. So it's a pretty useful tool in that regards that it kind of limits like the garbage information that, you know, that you might not want to see anyways. And for rare item checking, I'm just going to use this ring as an example but it is very useful. So basically like when you price check an item, um, it'll automatically highlight certain stats, but you can choose to count certain stats or you can choose not to count certain stats. So right here, I'm just gonna look up a category ring and you can see like these rings are like 10, 25, 40, 40 chaos. But um, you can see my ring has chaos resistance, which is um, because it's an amethyst ring. So if you go to category ring and you left click it, it's automatically gonna change it to the base item that you're selecting, which in our case is like the amethyst ring over here. And if you click search here now, look, you can see the price drastically goes up like one divine minimum and then it goes higher depending on the roles that it has. And again, you can type in your custom values here. Let's say you're looking for a ring with like 40 intelligence, you know, there's one for one and seven. And one more cool thing you can do guys is once you have like everything selected and like all the stats that you wanna search for, you can actually hit this trade icon button right here and it'll automatically open up the query that you selected with like all the stats highlighted and you can even customize it here. But again, it'll like highlight everything and like, you know, like it'll basically open up like the trade window here and you can like direct whisper these people to actually buy the item. It also makes bulk searching really easy guys. So let's say if I have deafening essence of rage here and I control, if I hit my, you know, hotkeys here to search it, um, you know, you're going to see here like eight, nine chaos for uh, one essence. But if you have a stock of nine, that price 
goes up from one to seven or whatever. What was it? One to eight or nine for one for eight or nine cast. But if you have a stock of nine, it's automatically worth more. You can sell it for like 14, 15 cast each, you know, at the medium price here, or you can even get like at the low end price, you can still get at least like 10 cast for it. So this kind of demonstrates uh, like in the POE economy, like bulk item trading is like highly valued because yeah, they're paying like a premium, you know, like they're, they're paying like a markup for like the convenience basically. And POE is all about convenience guys. You know, you don't want to go to like 10 different people, go to their hideout, you know, trade one by one. If you can find one person to do the trade with, yeah, they're going to charge you like a premium for it but it's always worth it in the end. And also you can use this to price your items accordingly and hopefully not get scammed. So let's set up some hotkeys first for the POE trade macro. So when you're in game and the macro is running for you, you can hit shift plus space and it's gonna like bring up like this little window here, as you can see, you can click this little cog icon here and it's gonna bring up like the settings overlay. But basically pressing control D on an item is going to open up the trade macro. So like if I press control D here, again, it's gonna open up this window and there's no auto hiding. So if I if my cursor goes off of it, then it doesn't really automatically hide it. I have to like left click off of that screen for, these, for the, the menu to go away. So let's just go back. So again, my hotkey has always been control D. You can set it to whatever hotkey you want it, honestly. Just left click in the box and say backspace and it'll say right here, not set. And then just press the hotkey that you want. In my case, I'm pressing control D. And yeah, the overlay, which is this thing right here, you just press shift space. You can again, change it to anything. Map check is control space for me. And let me show you the map check feature real quick, guys. All right, guys, so the map check feature, again, my hotkey that I set for is this control space. So, so if I hover over this map and click control space, you're gonna see a list of mods right here. Again, some builds can handle a mod, some builds can't. So if you see, if you hover over a map and you say like players are cursed with vulnerability and you do not wanna run that mod for some reason, like your build is just like weak to curses, you don't have like a curse flask or anything, control space it and you can highlight, you can just left click it to hover, to cycle through like the red, yellow and green. Basically like, you know, like you can, you can just like instantly mark maps and like this will do it in the program. So again, players are cursed with vulnerability. So like, you know, like that's a bad mod I wanna avoid. So if I hover over this map, which is a different map than this, if I hit control space again, you'll see like, you know, like it's highlighted in red. So again, once you tag a mod that it's like bad for you, you're, it's gonna be highlighted in whatever color you choose, green, uh, red or orange, you know, like whatever color you choose, it'll just be highlighted. That mod, if you select a map and you check like the map rolling thing, you know, control space, it's always gonna be highlighted in red for you. Hopefully that makes sense. So again, right here, I highlighted, I'm gonna change it to yellow, just kind of demonstrate a little better. So I highlight it. So I kind of wanna keep an eye out for this mod. And then if you click here, it's gonna be highlighted in yellow for you. Again, you can go like super fast. Like if you have a bunch of maps, you can just go control space, control space. And then once you have like your mods like tagged, you can just like easily identify which maps you need to reroll and which maps you can run comfortably, right? And also instead of just like doing it manually like this guys, there's also, if you click shift space and you click settings and you go to the map check side, you can actually see all the mods that are available on maps. I don't know if this has like the new Valdos maps or not, but you can see like the yellow, red and green checks. And again, if you, if you want an area to be inhabited, inhabited by skeletons, you can click this mod here. And it'll, and, and when you actually check your maps, it's going to highlight it in either orange, red, or green, whichever you choose. Again, hopefully that makes sense for you guys. Another cool feature guys in the item info tab, you can set hotkeys to open an item on wiki, open an item on PoEDB, open base into on craft of exile or find and stash. So like, let's say open an item in uh, Pew on the wiki. So I want to open the forbidden tome on the wiki. So I'm going to press alt and W and it's going to open up the PoE wiki with the item and it's a super, okay, this is like probably the most important feature for new players, guys. If you ever see anything in game and you're confused about it, oh man, like, uh, you know, what's the circuit orb, guys? So all W, you know, and then it gives you like, you know, detailed in information and everything like that. Um, Again, uh, you know, what's an exalted orb, blah, 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 right? Like you're like, bam, right there. And then also like, if you have like a unique item, like, oh, Rislata's uh, Impatience Riveted Boots, right? What is this exactly? I want to know more about this item. You can go to the wiki, Alt-W, right? And look at this. Look at all the extra information that the wiki has that you might not get just from like the in-game description. Some cool interactions. This is always like a like a helpful uh, section when you're like trying to, you know, plan for builds and everything like that. Another cool feature of the trade macro is opening an item in Craft of Exile. Craft of Exile basically is a website that lists all the mods that an item can have prefixes, suffixes, corruptions, based on the base type of the item. So again, I've set my hotkey to, if I go to shift space and click this, um, alt T is what I've set it to. You can just click save. Make sure you hit save after you set a hotkey to make sure it works. 
you hover over it and you hold and you press Alt T, and it's gonna open up that base type in Craft of Exile. It's gonna be it's gonna select like all the options that you need to select, like jewelry, amulet. In this case, it's a Corel amulet base type, and it's gonna list all the mods. Again, prefixes on the left, suffixes on the right, and again, you know, all these items items with like the weight, like the weighting and the prefixes, and you know, like if there a prefix or a suffix, and you can kind of like plan out like which mods you're hunting for and things like that, right? Before you start crafting your item. Again, it's a very very useful feature, guys. And again, when you're price checking an item, guys, you have like the price check section here. You can and you can like see the league here, affliction, um, show seller blah 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 right um remember buyout currency again you can explore all these options yourself but they're super useful these are more customizable options to your personal needs so you know like always select the stock filter so again earlier i was bulk searching those essences you can just have an option to always select the stock filter if you're price checking a bunch of uh orbs and currencies and you're trying to sell in bulk this option is very useful for you. All right, guys, and one last feature I wanted to discuss about the trade macro is the ability to have cheat sheet. If you just press shift and space, you can have cheat sheets. Basically, it's like an it's like a section right here, and you just hover over it, and it's like a nice, this is like, in this case, it's like a betrayal cheat sheet. This came included with the macro. I did not put this here. However, if you wanted to add a custom cheat sheet, all you have to do is download the file on your PC, and then go to edit right here, and then you'll see an option here that says choose file. I'm just going to choose a file real quick. I'm going to go to downloads and I'm going to go Sanctum Room Cheat Sheet that I just kind of downloaded from Reddit. And if you just press shift space again, you can see right here, just click at it. And then you can see right here, the cheat sheet appears in game. So this way you don't have to do a lot of alt tabbing. You can add as many cheat sheets if you want. You can click this move button to kind of move the macro wherever you want it. And again, you access this by pressing shift space guys. There's also the ability to set custom macros. So like custom commands um like hideout last hideout at last all this you can s assign these to hotkeys and basically like you know like exit hideout like just press the button here and then you'll automatically be transported to your hideout depending on where you are you know just basic stuff like that guys uh nothing too complicated all right guys and i think i've covered most of the functionality of the trade macro um i'm sure there's some like niche stuff in there that i haven't gone over honestly i don't find it i've been playing it since 2016 and i don't find it that important feel free to explore the macro yourself and see what you like and see what you don't like but I've covered the gist of it and hopefully that was helpful to you guys. All right, guys, and that's it. Um, if you enjoyed the video and it's helped you out, make sure you like and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm. You know, all that good stuff. I also stream on Twitch every night, twitch.tv forward slash no minds. Two S's at the end. I'll have a link to it in the description. You know, come by and say hi. And that's it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. No mind out. Peace.